Buenos dias. Good morning. Welcome to the Kakora Valley. Yeah. So this is like the to-do thing here in just outside Salento. Salento. And uh, yeah, we're really looking forward to it. It's like home to one of the tallest palm trees in the world. So we're about to go off on a nice six hour hike. Six hour, six hour hike. Which Lee is not looking forward to. No, I'm looking forward to this, just not the six hour hike part. <laughs> So in order to get here, we have to take a willy, uh, one of the local jeeps. Um, we both roll on willies. We both. Sick. <laughs> um, from Salento to uh, to Kokora Valley. This time we actually got a group one, so it only costs us uh, four thousand pesos each, each way. Each way. So sixteen thousand pesos altogether. And yeah, we got to stand at the back of it, which was a really cool experience. It's a good walk out here, um, arms. We said for killing me. Won't be doing it again on the way home, but great views, great experience. Glad we've done it. But um, yeah. Have a look at some of the footage. We're going to sit inside on the way home. We finally found the, the entrance, so we kind of had to walk for maybe 15 minutes um, on the walk, I suppose. Yeah. Um, we got to this little hut, and at the hut we had to pay 5,000 pesos. Each. Each. And um, he was kind of telling us that there's two routes, you know, the long route or the short route. The long route's about five hours, the short route is about two, two hours. hours. Uh, yeah, two or three hours. Yeah. Um, the long route you come out at the viewpoint, the short, view, the short route you come back on yourself. So, let's see how we get on, I suppose. Hello, Mr. Cows. Hola. Hola, yeah, Mr. Cows. <laughs> What's going on, honestly? Hola, Senor Beef. <laughs> We haven't even started a proper hike yet. We're going to walk half an hour into it. Every day, yeah. Fantastic. We're six more days. Eight more days. Oh. You can't do it! No, I cannot. Once we get to the top, we're going to roll down the hill, that's it, sorry. Exactly. Oh, downhill. Oh, yeah. We need to make our way up somewhere along there. The clouds. And then to come back down into the valley. On a scale of 1 to 100, how much do you hate me? Uh, 764. Cent. First of all, I made Lee miss the Man United match. Second of all, I'm bringing him on a five hour hike. Third of all, f you. <laughs> Love you too. It'll be worth it when we see the views, I promise. You really know we're going to have to get airlifted down from here, don't you? Who's wrong then? They just had a bit of a, an accident. An accident. Haven't really. Slipped and fell. Not fun. Suppose you could say you uh, made an ass out of yourself. Go home. <laughs> Not electric? Not alive. Good. It is electric, it's not alive though. So we're finally coming into some shade into the jungle, which is uh, much to Lee's delight. I needed a shade. He's uh, not doing too good. I'm too good. Oh, deadly. Bridges we've had to go over. 
kind of reminds us of Shrek. There ain't no brimstone. Just keep walking, don't look down. Just keep walking, don't look down. Just keep walking, don't look down. Shrek, I'm looking down! It's like, there's so many pieces missing. I mean, the drop isn't that far, but it's still, uh, it's not very faint hearted. But we also stopped off at a, um, at a waterfall, maybe just over one hour in, and uh, we didn't really tell. There's lots of people in the rock pools underneath, and uh, definitely would have been a good, really good way to cool off. We're like, one and a half hours in. It's tough going, very tough going, but the views are amazing. We're like in the middle of the rainforest. Yeah. I hope this is worth it. Two hours in. I mean, we're, we're persevering. We're getting there. Oh, wow. That's beautiful. No, we don't. We passed the bridge. <laughs> Humans here, um, but it'd be nice to know that two hours ago. We're also lost. What? I'm saying we're also lost. Yeah. We don't know where to go. This way? Both of them are pointing right anyway. Uh, this way. So we eventually got to the fork in the road that the guy who we paid the money to uh, was talking about. Um, he was, yeah, two hours in, just over two hours in. Um, there's two ways, we can either go left, which brings you, continues you on the walk, or if you go right, it brings you to like, like a house with hummingbirds. Um, not too sure what else, but yeah. We decided not to go that way because we were told it's a half an hour each way, so we have an extra hour onto the trip. And um, I'm not able. I'm really proud of you. I know you hate me, but I'm proud of you. Four hundred and twenty six hectares. It's a lot. Hector, yeah? <laughs> Those little bears. Assume the fetal position. Shouldn't be too hard for me. Where's the center? No, it's what you do for bears, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. You wouldn't want to get lost in here. We have so far seen signs for pumas, pumas, bears, and bats. Bats. A lot of other weird birds, but yeah, pumas and bears. A little bit scary. Just take me now. I think we're almost there. We're up nearly the top anyway, so once oh. we get to the top. You can't go anywhere but down, so, I mean, what are we now? Just take the wheel. Two and a half hours into it? Yeah. We're both very, very unfit. But, I think the end is near. I think we've went almost as uphill as we can. And as soon as we get up here, I think, I hope, no, it's just going to be downhill from there. F*** it. You alright, Lee? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. We're on cloud nine, literally. I've never been happier, number one, to be at the top of that hill. Number two, 
be on flat land. Yeah, flat land. We're kind of going downwards. And number three, to have the clouds giving us a bit of wetness. Yeah, it's good. You're oh, literally above the, the clouds. Sorry. Literally above the clouds. Amazing. Slashing rain. We've run out of water. Totally improvising. We finally made it to the next hut. Oh my god. So happy. Good. Much needed. We started here at 5,000 and went over all the bridges. Oh, and that's where the humming was. Yeah, yeah. The hardest part was this. Yeah. Oh. So at the second pay station, he had like drinks and snacks, <laughs> and we honestly couldn't have been happier. I asked him what the snack was, and he was trying to explain it, but. Because I didn't understand the Spanish, she tried to think of the word in English. I was like, you know what, it doesn't matter, I'll take it. I seen chocolate on it, I was like, just give it to me, I need it. <laughs> we, we, got, we got a Gatorade and a water as well, so we should have a bit more refreshment. Not too sure if you can see how creepy it looks, but like the fog is just, it's just right down on the pathway. Very eerie. Very eerie. We're not even gonna get a good view of the fucking yoke later. No, probably not. They are what we came to see. Who just needs to find the rest of them? Need to find them. Oh, what the fuck? This is crazy. This is what we came to Kokora to see. I mean, we can't see past it because obviously fog. the fog, but I think it adds to it, doesn't it? Yes, it makes it seem real eerie. Mm -hmm. it's, it's amazing. The camera doesn't pick up everything that we can see here, but my God. It's amazing. Can't quite get over that view at all. Holy shit. Was it worth the five hour hike? Mm, yep. Yeah. Without a doubt. There's little kids down there, like sliding down the hill on their ponchos. Are they even kids? I don't even think they are. I think they're adults. <laughs> so you gotta go down now. Bit of a struggle to get down but I just I can't even express how amazing these views are. Video isn't gonna do it justice no, unfortunately. Not at all. It's just <laughs> I mean it speaks for itself but again it doesn't give you enough on the video that we can see here. It's just wow. When we got back to the bottom of the valley we followed the crowd back to the car park where we hopped into a willy and headed back towards Salento. Ordinary things, typical, predictable. Baby, I knew the end before we started. Lee, has been singing the song for the last three days and I do not know what it is. The song, though. I don't know what song you're singing. The song, though. So we made it back in one piece, kind Enough. of. We are absolutely bollocks. Shattered. And what made things worse is we got back to the hostel and there was no hot water because the boiler is broken. So do you remember the way when you were a kid, well obviously the younger people probably won't remember this, but anyone older will remember this, when you were a kid and you were in the bath and there was no hot water running so you might have to boil the kettle. 
I put a bit of cold water in to put it in through your hair and all that. That's, That's what Leah has to what do. I do. Because I'm <laughs> so tired and cold and I just, I cried. I was like, I just want a shower. So I went and boiled water on the hob. I like old school stuff. And put it into two pots. <laughs> I put it into one pot and I was like, Leah, I'm going for a shower. That's boiling again. Keep an eye on Bring me in the other pot of water. <laughs> in a joke. Not bad old school. Like. Oh, um, <laughs> What a fucking nightmare. Oh, stop. Or I'm showered. Mess. So that's all that matters. But I'm very tired. But I can also do an alcoholic beverage. Yeah, we'll get you an alcoholic beverage. I think we should go get an alcoholic beverage. We're just going to get an alcoholic, alcoholic, alcoholic beverage. beverage. <sighs> For anybody who is considering to do a corn valley, first and foremost, don't. No. <laughs> no, no, no. Do. <laughs> but the first thing you need to do. Fucking bring food, don't be mongos like we. Mm. We were five hour trek and we literally, I seen like a little chocolate shortbread thing and mailed it. It was good. Starving the whole way through. Yeah, we didn't, we didn't think it was true. <laughs> no, we never we do, didn't. do we? Uh, but no, like if, yeah, like definitely consider your fitness levels before doing it. Um, I, I was this close to a heart attack about six times up mm. there. Yeah, I, I think I actually haven't enjoyed it. I think up there though, which guys look. But no, like you can visit the Kokora Valley and just do like a short walk up to it and then see the views from like the palm trees and then back. But we went into the jungle. Yeah, we probably should have done that instead. As always, like, boop, subscribe, Please. and thank you for the dingo. Oh, it's me. <laughs> See, see, at least, at least I know you pressed the ding bell now. <laughs> we'll see you in the next one. Guys. Peace. Bye.